this continue with our course on blockchain in this unit 1 week 1 course we have talked about the definition of blockchain the basics of blockchain and seen three different type of blockchain networks that is the centralized decentralized and distributed blockchain network today we will focus on different type of blockchain platforms there are three different type of blockchain platforms namely public private and consortium these three names public private and consortium are often considered as buzzwords in blockchain platform and considered very confusing also that how to decide on this that what is a public blockchain platform what is a private blockchain platform and what is a consortium blockchain platform today's video will focus and clear the concepts of these three con technologies that what is public platform what is private and what is consortium as you can see on the screen we say that a public platform is permissionless private is permissioned and consortium is also permissioned but with little about of flexibility so what do you mean by permission over here in a public blockchain platform no permissions are required it is a permissionless platform anyone can join anyone can read anyone can write and even participate in consensus mechanism algorithm whereas in case of a private blockchain platform permissions are required that is a permission based platform an organization is there the user has to take the permissions to join into this blockchain platform whether is in a consortium blockchain platform it is somewhat permission but with little amount of flexibility so we'll be seeing in this video the difference between a public private and a consortium platform and this will be dealt in a depth manner so let's focus on a public blockchain platform a public blockchain platform is a permissionless platform as we have already said no permission is required in it anyone can join by meaning of anyone can join we mean that in it any user can join the platform he can access it he can read he can write and he can even participate in the consensus mechanism algorithm of that blockchain platform it is a fully decentralized platform because there is no control of anyone no organization is controlling it therefore we say that it is a fully decentralized blockchain platform it is open for all there are no rules in it anyone can join it there are no rules and they can participate in the consensus mechanism algorithm also the beauty of this blockchain platform is that the users are anonymous we use this type of platform when we do not know that who are who will be the users so users are anonymous in it which gives the security issues therefore this blockchain platform is transparent whatever is happening is happening in front of all the users are anonymous users do not know each other now what type of platform to use when this will also be seen further in the video and the specific difference between the public private and a consortium blockchain platform would be dealt with now moving forward to a private blockchain platform as a public platform is permissionless a private blockchain platform is permission permission means that when we make applications in it the platform is controlled by a single organization a single organization has a control to this blockchain platform therefore there are doubts that when single organization is controlling it there may be cases that single organization can change the contents it can delete the block therefore it is said to be partially decentralized it is not fully decentralized because single organization is having a control on it therefore it is said to be a private blockchain platform is partially decentralized because it is controlled by a single organization permissions has to be taken we have to abide by the rules there are certain rules that who can read who can write transaction fees is less because it is a lesser network lesser number of participants are there lesser number of consensus mechanism algorithms are required to approve the block because only an enterprise is using it it is known as an enterprise blockchain the example of private blockchain is hyperledger the example of public blockchain is bitcoin ethereum so let's compare these two having said about the basics of public and private let's compare these two that what is basically the difference between public and private is with terms to different features if we talk about the features access in public blockchain is anyone can access it and private 
it is depends upon the single organization then who can access it the controls are with the single organization therefore it is partially decentralized but with lesser number of users it takes lesser amount to approve therefore the transaction speed is fast it is permission the transaction cost is less as compared with public data handling read and write access depending upon the permission which is given by the single organization it is partially immutable but public is fully immutable immutable means who can change means any change can occur or not immutable means no one can change it no change can is possible in public because it is a trusted platform users are anonymous so this change cannot happen if a block has added into a chain we cannot delete that block whereas in case of private it is partially because it is controlled by a single organization so if the single organization wish it can do certain changes therefore it is said to be a partially immutable efficiency of a private blockchain is more as compared to that of a public blockchain platform now let's move further now before we see the further concept of open and close platform let me tell you one more thing that it is not necessary that public blockchain platform we say it is a permissionless blockchain platform and private is a permission blockchain platform these permissions are given by identity access management in a permission blockchain platform iam can be from google sign on it can be from facebook sign on or the blockchain platform can have its own identity access management that which user can access what similarly when we make a application in a public blockchain platform this thing is very important ethereum is a public blockchain platform it is a permissionless anyone can use it anyone can access it but when i am making my application using an ethereum using the smart contracts of the ethereum platform i can use the identity access management that what user can do i can give the rights to different user if a user is trying to do something and it is beyond his rights then an error message would be displayed and he would not be able to do this thing so there is a difference between the application point of view and platform point of view remember the difference that permissions to the users and permissions given by the platform there are two different things a public blockchain platform like ethereum and bitcoin is a permissionless platform anyone can access it a private which is being controlled by a single organization we require access from that organization to have our own application onto that platform like hyperledger is a private blockchain platform r3 crowda is a private blockchain platform whereas a bitcoin and an ethereum is a public blockchain platform now let's focus on these two terms which are often dealt with public and private blockchain platform and are often confused with it open and close blockchain platform a uh, open blockchain platform is with respect to who can read a closed blockchain platform is with respect to who can read closed it is a restricted read open anyone can read when we deal with public then we talk about who can write a public open means open for write open for read public closed means open for write but closed for reading only those who are getting the permission they can read it private open means private means the writing permission is private but reading is open so anyone can read private closed means writing permission is private and even reading permissions are closed means restricted read is there so public open public closed private open private closed these are other terms which are used with blockchain platform now let's focus on some examples of different applications remember any type of platform can be used for any type of applications there is no such thing that public blockchain platform is better than private blockchain platform it depends on the applications which you are going to make depending upon the application you have to choose therefore this example would give you a much more clear picture that which type of platform you should choose for which type of application for example if you have to make an application for defense then definitely you will choose a private closed application if you have to make for tax returns it should be private closed if you have to make for supply chain where only the vendors are having the permission to read write 
but all the users all the customers can read it then it is private open similarly if you have to deal with cryptocurrencies if you have to make video games where everyone can read and write everyone can play it should be a public open blockchain platform and if you have to make an application where restrictions are given for reading then it is public closed but writing is allowed so different type of applications can be made by using a public and a private platform depending on the application we call it an open or closed platform or an application now to conclude with let's see what is a consortium blockchain platform a consortium blockchain platform is similar to a private blockchain platform but the only difference is that in a private blockchain platform it is a single organization which is dealing with whereas in a consortium blockchain platform more than one organizations collaborate together and they make a blockchain platform they control that blockchain platform therefore it is said to be a partially decentralized not fully decentralized but it is sorry it is fully decentralized because more than one organization is controlling it in case of private it was partially decentralized but for consortium it is a fully decentralized platform so after saying this end of for today's session it covers that what is the difference between public private and a consortium blockchain platform thank you